Good morning, y'all. Cheers by Sarah here. If you're new to Cheers by Sarah, I'm Sarah. I put a video out every Wednesday in hopes to motivate, inspire, and sometimes make you laugh while I drink coffee, tea, wine, whatever I'm drinking. On Saturdays, I tend to put out conspiracy theories, mysteries, debatable subjects. Um, yeah. I'm calling it strange stuff with Sarah. I am not 100% sold on that right now, but that's what it's called for now. Cheers by Sarah. Um, so last month we covered chapter seven in my book, Ladies Get Up. Ladies Get Up is a passion project of mine. I went through a divorce years ago and, and I had all kinds of problems and issues and life happened to me. And I was tired of that. So I decided to stop, to stop allowing life to happen to me. And while doing that, unknowingly, I found who I am, who I love who I am now. I love my life and life isn't just happening to me anymore. I'm not robotically living it. And that made a huge difference in life for me, in, in my soul. And throughout going through all these different programs, some of them were just didn't work. Some of them had some good parts and not some other good parts for me. And some of it was just self-reflecting and figuring out what was holding me back. What was bothering me? Anyway, throughout all of that, I wrote a book. Um, as well, that step by step, I love my life again. And I wanted to share it with the world. So I wrote a book, Ladies Get Up. It's available on Amazon. I will link it below. But um, I also decided to read it on YouTube because, y'all, I want everybody to be able to love their lives and live a life that they are truly, truly happy with. And in order for me to do that, I decided to put it on YouTube as well. So again, if you, if you want a copy of the book, which I totally suggest you have, because sometimes you need to reread or whatever, there's note sections in there and all that stuff. If you want a copy of the book, I will link it below. However, here we go with chapter seven, part two, money. There is another aspect to the money chapter. Money is another resource we tend to waste on things not necessarily needed. It is fine to treat yourself every now and again, but learning your unhealthy spending habits is a great thing to do. I urge you to dig down into your financial spending and I need you to look at it like it's your time and energy. I mean, really, it is time and energy. How'd you get that money? You worked for it. Okay, so you need to look at it more like that than just, well, I'll buy that $5 coffee instead of brewing a pot at home. Really decide if buying that or spending your money on that is getting you closer to your goals. Now, I am not saying don't pay your utilities or don't buy groceries you need. I am saying wasteful spending habits we all have. We all have. Designer clothes and bags to extra trips to the salon are a couple of ways we might waste money. But there are other things that really put a damper in us financially reaching our goals. Again, going places we really don't want to go is a big one. You know that dinner party with the woman that you really don't like be because all she does is talk about people? And it's at the restaurant you really don't like? Do not go. Do not fall into the trap of wasting your time, energy, and money. 
that cup of $5 coffee you pick up every day before work, that can add up to $25 a week if you work five days a week, which is actually $1,300 a year. In this little exercise, I want you to figure out your unhealthy spending habits and figure out ways you can better use that money to help you now and to get you closer to meeting your goals. My experience. I learned very quickly. I wasted about $2 a day on a fountain soda. I'm a Dr. Pepper addict. And instead of buying a two liter every four days, I was actually spending ridiculous amounts of money on soda. That ended up adding up to $730 a year. By looking at my unhealthy spending habits, I was able to cut this number in half by switching to a two liter every four days and getting a washable, reusable cup. You are telling me that by switching a little bit, I have 365 more dollars towards my goal? Sign me up. I had many other spinning habits that I could make little adjustments to. Adjustments that I barely noticed in everyday life. And I am saving a little over $2,500 a year by making these adjustments. Now, to some, that isn't much, but to others, that can be almost life-changing or even dream-getting. Start figuring out your unhealthy spending habits and start getting closer to your dream. That's the end of chapter seven. I hope you liked today's video. Again, I will link the book in the description below um, so you can get the full effect of the book uh, if you want. If not, I'll be here next month with chapter eight, but I do put out videos every Wednesday and Saturday, and I hope I see you then. Cheers. Go pick up your crown. You are good enough. You deserve the kindness and the love. It's by Sarah.